Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about fountain pen ink. First up is my dye mine ink in Salamander. It has this smokiness to it that I really love. Plus, I'm also a real huge fan of green inks. Next up is dye mine ink in Denim. This is a nice blue ink. Darker when you write in it, but here in the swatch makes it look a lot lighter. Another green ink is next. This one is called Safari. I love this bottle. It's a wedge bottle. And there are a few others that when you buy the full collection, they fit together like pie. How cool is that? I have yet to get any of the other colors, but this one is a favorite for sure. This one is one of their shimmering inks called Enchanted Ocean. I like it, but it's not one of my favorites. At least, it doesn't look as neat when I write in it. There is a shimmer to it, but you can barely notice it on camera. Next up has to be my all-time favorite at the moment, Organic Studios Walden Pond. It is this beautiful teal color with a sheen to it. Ugh, so pretty and so fun to write in. I keep it in my Caveco Sport all the time. Next is the Scott Fitzgerald in a burnt orange color. I really want to buy an orange pen to match this ink. It's beautiful. I have my Perkyo currently inked with it, but I think a medium nib will show it off better compared to this fine nib. And I also have Jane Austen Violet. It's a pretty purple, but I think I prefer darker ones. But still, I was happy to add this one to my collection. Noodler's inks are next. I received this bright green from my sister, and it's called General of the Army. I love Noodler's bottle labels. They are so unique and sometimes hard to locate the color name, but still really great inks. I hope to collect more of this brand. I also have Purple Wampum. This is a great dark purple. I had one of my demonstrator pens inked with this one for a while. The next two inks are from Private Reserve. First up is the color Sepia. I plan on inking up my Perkyo with this one, since I think it will match it better. I am a huge fan of Cadillac Green. This was my first bottle of ink ever, and I've been obsessed ever since. I would describe it more as a teal than the green it is showing up as on screen. Next is the free bottle of ink I received on Fountain Pen Day. This one is Monteverde's Olivine. I like the shade, but I did have it in my Eco Copycat pen, and it would pull at the nib and play it up. Maybe I wasn't using the pen enough? And lastly is this Robert Oster ink in Summer Storm. It is this really pale gray purple. It's too light for me, actually. I thought it would be a bit darker from the sample I saw in the store, but it's more light than I would prefer. And there you have my ink collection. This video was actually inspired by my pen pal, but she recently did a video on her impressive tea collection. Well, that's all I have for this video. Give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.